Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Halo 2 Vista or Halo 2 PC with Project Cartographer. Project Cartographer is a mod that brings Halo 2 PC servers back online. It's a community supported project and is 100% free both for the game and the project. And today I'm going to show you how to set that up. So let's get into it. First you're going to want to go to cartographer.online. This link will be in the description below and you're going to want to click full game installer plus mod right here and it should begin a download now I'm gonna come back once this download is finished and I'll show you how to continue setting it up alright so now that the installer has finished downloading we can go to the location in which it downloaded to for most people this will be your downloads folder now we're going to need to unzip this installer now I use WinRAR, some other people may just use uh, 7-zip or you may just use the default Windows extractor. However, for most people this process will pretty much be the same. So I'm going to minimize and go to my desktop here. And just for temporary purposes I'm going to create a new folder and I'm just going to call it installer. I'm going to double click and open the installer. I'm going to drag and drop the files into the new folder. Just let it extract it. Okay, now that it's done, we can close this out and open the location in which we extracted it to. You can even drag it straight onto your desktop when you extract it as well, it does not matter. All right, so now we're simply going to double click H2PC setup. This window should open. We're going to hit next. We're going to scroll down through the terms and agreements and accept. Then we'll hit next. And you can customize the location in which you want to install your game if you have a separate hard drive. However, it is recommended just to do the default location on your C drive. We'll hit next and we'll hit install. And by the way, while installing this project, if you happen to get an antivirus alert or a smart screen pop-up or something like that that says it's a virus, I can promise you that that will be a false positive. Our project is open source, so you can see everything that's in it. Also, if you have any errors while installing the game, there will be an FAQ in the description that should answer some of them, like DLL is missing or DirectX missing or something like that. However, the installer should install everything that you would need. All right, now that it is done installing, we're going to click next, and we're going to click finish. And if you want to have the game automatically run, which I'm going to do for this video, you can just have this checked. We're going to hit finish. Allow access if that pops up. going to skip. Alright, now we should be on the main menu here, and you should be able to see up here the Project Cartographer mod has been added, and we're going to click or hit a button, and this should open up. Now we're going to hit create an account, and this is where we will enter a username, email, and password for setting up the account. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to name it h2v install tutorial and then we'll go to the email h2v install tut at gmail.com that's an email that I already made you will need to use a legitimate email and we'll just name it uh, halo2 password and then we'll hit done then we will hit create an account The email has been sent, so we will close out. We will then minimize. We now can go to our email and see here that it has been sent. It may go to your spam folder as well, so you may need to check there. 
So here we go. We can activate. Account activated. Go back in game. And once we're back in game, we can hit add account. It should already have our stuff here. We will click login. Give it a second. It may freeze just for a sec. And there we go. So now you can just create a player. Your name up here does not matter. Your name that will display in game will be whatever your account name is. So I'm just going to name this H2V, whatever you want to call it. And you can go to your settings and customize your player. This is how the default looks for this. In order to see multiplayer games, we will hit network. And you can see here, we have games and servers up. I'm going to show you a little bit of the UI. I'm going to go in game and close it. If you want to host your own game, you will need to port forward ports 2000 through 2009. All right, so we can start it up. Slayer. All right, now we're in game. And I'll show you how you could change your field of view. So if you do not like the current field of view that you have, you can hit the home key on your keyboard. This will bring up the cartographer guide. You will hit advanced settings, customize HUD and GUI, and field of view. Now this is the system that we have to use for right now. Uh, to change your field of view, you want to make sure you click this and it will enable by default field of view 100. Now for Xbox, if you want the Xbox field of view, that would be 78. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to subtract 10 from 100. So we're going to go minus 10, minus 10, minus 10. Now we're at 70 and we will add 1 until we are at 78. And then we will hit cancel to back out and the crosshair offset for Xbox Field of View, we'll enable it. It will be 0 0.138. So we're going to go down and then we'll add until we get to 0 0.138. We'll back out and then there you go. You have the crosshair for your Xbox Field of View. I want to thank you guys for watching this video and thank everybody that has supported the game throughout the years and that continue to support it. We have been here for years with this game trying to uh, improve it and make it a better experience. Uh, this project is to revive and bring the server list for the game back online so that people can play. The actual server list for the game actually went down about two and a half-ish years ago and it was never officially shut down. We've asked Microsoft and 343 and Games for Windows Live what what happened or what's the deal and we've never quite gotten a proper answer. They just don't seem to know. But we are very happy that we are able to have this project because this allows us to fix a lot of issues that the game has had and continue to implement new things to the game such as zombies and infection and other fun modes like gun game. Um, once again, I want to thank everybody for watching this video. If you guys have any other questions, you can always sign up here on our forums and post in the help section. You can also join our Discord, which I will have a link to in the description, and ask some questions there. And you can also just simply leave questions in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to get back to you on those. One last thing, guys. Please check out other fan-made projects within the Halo community, such as Installation 01, Halo Online, or El Dorito, and Project Contingency. Some of the things that these guys do is absolutely incredible, and you should definitely check them out. Thanks. Have a great day.